Hey, I'm Clay with CPAP My Way and CPAPMyWay.com. I want to introduce you today to the Viterra Full Face Mask. Um, this is the latest and greatest from Fisher & Paykel. And I'm going to point out right off the bat that it is very similar to the design of the Fisher & Paykel Simplest, which is the predecessor of this mask. However, there are some really nice features that make this mask uh, leaps and bounds better than the Simplest. Um, so a lot of people that are on Simplest are going to want to consider checking this mask out just because of, um, uh, of the really nice improvements. Um, first and foremost, uh, much like the Simplest, you'll notice it's a, um, a very uh, standard full face mask in that it has you know, a frame that comes up to the forehead, which is great for stabilization. You know, if you're using a minimal mask and it's moving around on your face a lot, you really should consider a more classic stable fit like this. Um, so you've got four point headgear basically, right? So four points of adjustment that allow you to really keep it uh, uh, adjusted to the face uh, and, and in the same position throughout the night. Um, the one thing that is really unique about this particular mask um, is the roll fit design. So you'll notice is, you know, I apply some pressure to the, where your bridge of the nose would be there. The mask kind of rolls in, which gives a comfortable, but more importantly, effective seal at the bridge of the nose. So especially if you are one of the people that have encountered a lot of uh, corner of the eye leak because the mask just doesn't seal well across the bridge of the nose, this mask is gonna be a great option for you. Um, additionally, you've got um, a really modern headgear design. Um, it's actually a really well ventilated headgear because you know one of the things that Fisher and Paykel found is that full face users would um, actually genuinely get a little bit of sweat on their headgear and um, you know over time that's really uncomfortable and certainly um, not the nicest thing to have on your CPAP mask every night. Another really cool feature about it is the simplicity of the cushion. Um, it literally just snaps right in and out. There's no special thing to do, um, no special attachments or releases or anything. It just simply pops in and out very easily. Um, additionally, you'll notice that the, um, the headgear uh, clips are a little bit different than, than on the simplest for sure and that they're a lot simpler. So to take it on and off, you really just kind of push down on the little tab itself and it just pops right off really easily, which is nice. No magnets on here. Um, that was something they decided that they did not want to um, move forward on with this particular mask. And they just clip right on the exact same way uh, the predecessor did. Um, very easy. You'll also notice that there's little tabs now on the, um, the headgear uh, Velcro strap as well. That's, you know, so obviously when you're not looking in the mirror or something, so you can feel back there to find it for, for quick adjustment. Um, but overall, we really like the mask. Uh, another really cool feature about it is how quickly you can disconnect the headgear. So there's a little clip that pops in and out of the top of the frame there. So really within seconds, if you're gonna maintain your headgear, you can take the entire thing loose and reassemble it just as fast uh, when you're ready to use the mask. It does have a, uh, a quick connect. Let me show there. It does have a quick connect feature on the front, just like the uh, simplest did. So this is a clear and very small connector piece. And I want to point out that if you've got it in the end of your CPAP tube, it is really easy to forget that it's there. So when you try a different mask or you get a replacement mask, and you can't connect your mask, it's probably because your old connector's in there. And on this mask in particular, it's, um, it's very easy to lose inside the tube. So keep that in mind as well. Um, the, the front of the mask swivels and toggles very nicely. So if you're moving around at night, you're gonna get a lot of freedom of movement um, without any kind of leakage. There is an exhalation port on the front, which also was uh, remodeled on this particular device to give a little more um, well, you know, on the, on the simplest, some people complained of feeling a little bit of a draftiness in the way the exhalation ports were designed. They've completely redone it on this one, um, and it's, um, it's made a big difference on the feeling of the exhalation. And that roll fit design we talked about earlier is actually two times more uh, roll fit on this mask than the predecessor with the simplest. So <clears throat> I'm going to try it on for you. I'm going to take both, um, both uh, clips loose on the bottom. That's just the proper way to fit it grab the back of the head here. So I'll fit it right onto my face and then pull the head gear over. And then one at a time you pull these clips around, find your, um, your attachment here and just snap them back so that they lock into place. 
you can see this is really loose on me. So the first thing you want to do is get the top stable, you know, not tight, but stable. <clears throat> and then you grab this bottom and they got these little tabs that makes it really easy. And just give it a little pull back. It doesn't have to be terribly tight. Obviously, you've got to seal at the at the nose and at the mouth, but you've got to be comfortable as well because the, the overall key here is is a um, a quality fit, but it has to be comfortable if you're going to wear it. So don't don't tighten it too much. Okay. And then our tubing is going to attach right on the front here. I'm going to fire it up. Exhalation port on the front. It's a really quiet mask. So it comes on and off really easily, especially with those little quick attaches, but I'm sure you heard it's a very quiet mask. It's a nice diffused exhalation so you're not blasting your sleep partner with your uh, exhalation there. Um, and overall, when it comes down to it and we have customers that um, you know have had trouble with fitting a mask or comfort or stability, <clears throat> we are pretty much telling them they need to try the simplest. Um, I've even had a few personal friends that um, have migrated to it and have had nothing but good things to say about it. So. It's a, a great mask and uh, we can't recommend it enough. The Viterra from Fisher & Paykel.